third week of Easter during the, the week, we have our readings from the sixth chapter of the Gospel of St. John. And Jesus will be talking about himself being the bread that has come down from heaven. So each day, you know, we're going to get an, we're going to take a, a, a walking journey through the sixth chapter. And today, Jesus has, you know, it begins after Jesus had fed the 5,000 men and his disciples saw him walking across the sea. Think of this. This is kind of the introduction. This is who you're going to be listened to. You are going to listen to the one who fed 5,000 with almost nothing and then walked on the sea. This is someone to pay attention to. And so the crowds see him, but they don't understand what it is that they have seen when they were fed by Jesus with such little uh, bread and so few fish. He is going to help them to, to understand what it is that they have received, what it is that they saw. And Jesus is going to make the distinction, you did not understand the sign, but you come because you had your fill of the bread. It's to put those two together. When we receive the bread of life, what is it that we receive? Do we understand how blessed we are to come to church, to participate in, to, in the Mass, and to receive the body of Christ? This is a week, really, to, to challenge ourselves to look at the Eucharist as the gift of Jesus for our nourishment. To know that it is him who we receive, that he comes that close. The readings of Easter, the whole season, are so rich. To recognize the presences of Jesus as he comes to us to help us to understand sacred scripture. To know that we are nourished by him, we will hear that he is the, the one who dresses the vines and in so many ways that he accompanies us. This week, let us listen very carefully to how it is that he feeds us, that he nourishes us, that we may not only taste the bread, but we may also understand the sign of what it is that that bread actually is. Mm -hmm.